Okay, got a nice easy riff for you today, uh, Arctic Monkeys, Do I Wanna Know? So I'm just gonna dive straight into the tab music here, and then I'm gonna demonstrate it, then I'll explain what's happening, so. Okay, I'm sure you've probably never known what the name of the song is. Most people don't, but they, they've heard it on the radio. It's quite catchy and uh, and uh, it's quite a cool riff to play. Nice, easy to achieve. So we start here on the sixth string and it goes one, three. And then we go to the fifth string and you play the what first fret. And then you go back to the sixth string on the three. So then four notes. Now a common mistake if you're new to playing wrists is to use one finger and go You watch that? It's like my fingers flying back and forward Well just like if you were to play a piano and play some notes you'd go like this wouldn't you? So you do the same with guitar watch Rather than if you do that, you've got to really watch what you're doing because you don't want to accidentally hit the next string. So it's good to use these fingers. Then you can switch off from looking at your hand and just tell your fingers where to go. OK, so that's the first bit. And then the next bit goes zero, three. Oh, sorry, one, three. And then one on the fifth string. And you see this one dash three, it, you play the first fret on the fourth, we're on the fourth string now, and you play the first fret and it slides to the three. So that's it. So play that and slide it. It's quite quick. So you're not really hearing this one, you're not going, you wanna, as soon as you hit it, you wanna slide over to it so okay so you got to keep the pressure down the whole way there because if you lift it off you you'll have a note by the time you get to the third fret and then it goes back to the one on the fourth so And then we've got on the fifth string, it goes three to five slide. So it's the same slide, but on a different string, different fret. So three to five, and then you hit the three after it. So that, that sounds like. So let's three to five. And then hit three. So. So. Next bit, you've got one, three, five, three. So on the fifth string. So there's a few ways you can play that cluster of notes. You could stretch your fingers and go one, three, five, three. So that's a big stretch. Or you could go one with this finger, then move that finger up there, and then use your first finger there. So I've got two boxy shapes, so, and then move it here. That's probably the smoothest way to play it. Right, and the very last bit here, you go one, three, and then you've got this three, five, three, five, and you can see the little dash in it, so they're slides. So it's three to five, and that again. So it goes, so, so one, three, you might as well slide it with this third finger. And the last note is there, third fret, top string there. So this last bit sounds like, and looks like this. So. 
okay hope you enjoyed that really nice little easy riff to learn and it sounds pretty cool so all right thank you